sports fans and baseball fans and Stratomatic fans. I'm here in game three of the NLCS of 2005, which pitted the St. Louis Cardinals against the Houston Astros, as anyone who follows baseball would know. Um, and if you want to know how the first two games went in my replay, You'll need to go back and check it out. That's what I always say. And I'm feeling a little under the weather, so, you know, I'm going to be, my usual level of energy won't be here. And, um, and, uh, yeah, my voice is a little raspy. But, you know, as they say, the show must go on. So, that's how it is. Uh, game three is going to see Jeff Supan on the mound for the St. Louis Cardinals, and he will be going up against Roy Oswalt. In 2005, Jeff Supan was 16 and 10 with a 3.57 earned run average, and Roy Oswalt was 20 and 12 with a 2.94. So Oswalt, definitely the better of the two pitchers. We'll have to see if that translates on the field for Houston. But for right now, we're going to get started with the game. And you can see I've got my scoreboard back so that you can see what's going on and what the score is and the inning by inning and all of that. So without any further delay, let's get on with it. Reggie Sanders will bat against um, Oswald. And that is a 112, which is a fly ball to right field. That's one down. And the next batter for St. Louis is Larry Walker. Now, these lineups have not changed. So if you've seen the first two games, you know what the lineups pretty basically are. I don't think there was any injury. Uh, that is a 2-3, which is a fly ball to right field. That's two down. And here is the machine, Albert Pujols who is actually back in St. Louis. And he gets a 4-9, which is a single. So the, um, the Cardinals have a man aboard with two down and Jimmy Edmonds up. And he gets a 6-6, six -six, which is a fly ball to right field. So no runs come in for St. Louis in the first. And we will go to the bottom of the first inning. Willie Tavares is the leadoff batter for the uh, Houston Astros against Jeff Supan. And that is a 4-6, which is a ground ball to the second baseman. That is uh, Grudzelanek, and he is a 2 at second base. That is a 3, and that is an out. So there is one down very quickly, and Craig Biggio... 310, that is a double. It's just a plain old everyday double. So you got a man at second base for Houston with one down and Lance Berkman. Up. That is a 410, which is a pop out to shortstop. Two away. And Morgan Ensberg. Morgan Ensberg, who had 36 home runs in 2005. The third baseman, he gets a fly ball to left field. And that is it for Houston. They got a man as far as second, but they did not score him. And we go to the top of the second inning. With Grudzelanek up for the Cardinals. And he gets a 212, which is a pop out to third plus injury, and that is a 10. He's going to miss some time for sure. Two games. So, Grudzelanek is out for two games. Hector Luna is going to be the new second baseman when the Cardinals go out to the field. But for right now, David Eckstein is up with one down. And he gets a 4-6, which is a strikeout. Two away. Oswalt pitching quite well so far. And Scott Rowland. Scott e. Rowland gets a 5-10. And that is a catcher card X, and that is going to be, um, let me see who the catcher is. That is Osmus, and he's a 1, and that is a 10. 10 and a 1 at catcher is 
out on dribbler. So the Cardinals get no runs there. We go to the bottom of the second, and as I said, Hector Luna is going out to second base as the new second baseman for the Cardinals, for the injured Groods line. Jason Lane is up for the Astros. And that is a 4-8. And that is a strikeout. One away. Orlando Palmero is up. That is a 5-9. That is a ground ball second base. C, two away. And so is, uh, I was going to say, Oswald's pitching well and so is Supan. And Brad Osmus comes up, and that is a 3-4, and he pops out to shortstop. So the offenses cannot get going here. We go to the top of the third with Yachty. Yachty or Molina is up for the Cardinals. In 2005, Yachty hit 252 with eight home runs. He gets a 4-9, and that is a single. So they have a man aboard again. They hit that same single on Oswald's card. Now that brings up Supan, but he is a hitter seven. So we're going to let him get hit. And uh, that is a 3-4, which is a ground ball double play. He hits into a double play with two down and nobody on. That brings up Sanders at the top of the order. And that is a 5-7. And uh, that is a walk. Oh, wait a minute. Nope, that is a ground ball second base, and the new second baseman, nope, that is on St. Louis. The second baseman for Houston is Biggio, I believe, and he is a four. That is an 18. 18 and four at second base is an out. So St. Louis gets no runs, and we go to the bottom of the third. And uh, we are in a scoreless game, a scoreless pitcher's duel between Jeff Supan and Roy Oswald. And Adam Everett is the batter. His first at bat, I believe, in the game. And he gets a 1-6, which is a strikeout. One away, and that brings up Roy Oswald. He is a pitcher hitting two. That is a 6-8, which is a fly ball to right field. Two away, and Willie Tavares is up. And he gets a 2-8, which is a single. So they get another base hit. Um, and it, as a matter of fact, I think... Houston now has two hits, and so does uh, so do the Cardinals. I think I think that's about right. Haven't been tracking that, but Craig Biggio is up with two down and a man at first, and that is a four nine, and that is a home run one to fourteen, and it is gone. And Craig Biggio gives the Houston Astros a 2 nothing lead with a two-run home run. And, uh, let's see. That's, there's only one out. I think there's only one out. So, Lance Berkman is up. And that is a 4-4 which is a pop out to first base. Two away and Morgan Ensberg at the plate. The 36 home run hitting third baseman for Houston. And he gets a 5-8, which is a triple one or a single. And that is going to be a single. And that is another hit for Houston. And Jason Lane is up with a man at first and two down. And he gets a 1-3, which is a ground ball, third base, B. But Houston struck for two, and we go to the top of the fourth with uh, the Cardinals trailing 2-0. And to Oswald, that's going to be pretty big. 
Larry Walker is up though, and he is going to step in against Oswald here in the um, top of the fourth. And that is a 6-3, and that is a ground ball first base, and Berkman plays it, and there is one down. Pujols is up. That is a 2-3, that's a line out to second base, two away. They can't get anything going against Oswald. And Ed Edmonds is up, Jim Edmonds. And he gets a 2-8, which is a strikeout. So, no runs come in. And we go to the bottom of the fourth. With Houston up and Orlando Palmero. And Houston with a 2-0 lead right now. And that is a 2-5, which is a single one to nine. And it is not. It's a line out to second base. There's one down. Brad Osmus is up. Osmus gets a 111, and that is a single one to six, but it's going to be a line out to third base. So there's two down very quickly, and um, Adam Everett up. And he gets a 18, which is a pop out to shortstop. So no runs come in for Houston in the fourth. We go to the top of the fifth. And here is Hector Luna who is on to replace the injured Grudzelanek at second base. This is his first at bat. And that is a 6-6, six, six, which is a fly ball to right field. He's out, one away, and David Eckstein is up. That is a 4-9. That is a single. So that is a hit for St. Louis. And a man aboard with one down. And Scotty Rowland is up. And we will roll that again. And that is a 310, which is a line out to third base, two away. And uh, with two outs and a man at first, you got Yachty, Yachty or Molina. And he gets a 1 9, which is a fly ball to center field. So no runs come in for the Cardinals there. We go to the bottom of the fifth inning. And uh, the batter for Houston will be Oswalt, and of course, they're not taking him out. He's been pitching great. A three-hit shutout so far against the Cardinals. And that is a 3-9, which is a ground ball first base. So Pujols plays that over to Supan, and there is one down. Willie Tavares is up. That is a 4-9, and that is a home run 1-14, to and... That is also gone, so that is another hit for Houston, and another run. And Supan now has given up three runs on two home runs, and Craig Biggio is up with one down. That is a 6-7, which is a double one to six, and it is a, a double. So you've got a man at second with still only one out, and Supan is probably out there, probably laboring now with Lance Berkman up. This is a good lineup, though. 5-3, that is a ground ball to the pitcher. He is a 2. That is a 1, though, and that's going to be a base hit. And, uh, yeah, that's a single 1. So runners are at the corners. They are going to bring the infield in. I don't like bringing the infield in, but they will do that right here with Morgan Ensberg up. And they'll hope he strikes out. 4-3 is ground ball C. So let's see what happens with the infield in on a ground ball C. The batter is out. And runner on third holds. Other runners advance one base. So now you got runners at second and third with two down. And you got Jason Lane out. And, of course, they will bring the infield back now. And that is a 6-5, which is a fly ball. Center field C, and that is it for Houston. They do get a run, though. They tack on another run, and we go to the top of the sixth. And uh, Supan is not going to bat. He is the uh, scheduled batter to lead off the sixth inning for St. Louis. They will go with somebody else. And they will get Al Reyes up in the bullpen.
And John Rodriguez will be the scheduled hitter as a pinch hitter for uh, Super. And that is a 5-7. And that is a ground ball second base. And he is... Um, He's a four. That is a 13 and a four at second base. That is a one base error. So John Rodriguez, pinch hitting for Supan, gets on with a um, uh, with a uh, uh, an on by uh, error by um, Craig Biggio. And Reggie Sanders is up with no outs and a man at first base. And that was an air by Houston. Reggie Sanders gets a 4-7. And that is a single one, but it isn't. It's a line out to first base with one down. Larry Walker. Larry Walker is up at the plate. He gets a 5-7, and that is a ground ball second base. He is a 4, that is an 8, that might be something, that may just be something. It is a one base error, and so uh, Houston makes their second error, and they're both by uh, Biggio. And Albert Pujols is up with one down, and runners at first and second. And that is a 1-7, which is a double 1-16, to 16, and it is not. It's a single double asterisk. So a run scores, and that will put runners at the corners. And uh, that is a hit for St. Louis. And it is a run. And the score is 3-1. to one. Houston is going to play back because they still have a two-run lead. They're going to hope for the double play here. Jim Edmonds up. And that is a 310, which is a ground ball double play. And that's exactly what they got. The ground ball to the shortstop, and he is out. He does exactly what they wanted him to do. But St. Louis did strike for a run, and we go to the bottom of the sixth with Orlando Palmero up at the plate. And Al Reyes is the new pitcher. So there he is out there pitching. In 2005, Al Reyes was 4-2 with a 2.15 earned run average in 63 innings, and he had three saves. Orlando Palmero gets a 1-3, which is a ground ball to second base, one away. Brad Osmus comes up with one down. He gets a 2-7, which is a walk. So Osmus is aboard with a walk, and he is at first base with Adam Everett up. And he gets a 6-10, which is a fly ball to center field. The center fielder is, uh, for St. Louis, is Edmonds. I believe he's a 2 this particular year. No, he's a 1. He is a 1, my bad, 15. That is probably a fly out. And uh, it is. He's out. And that brings up Oswald. And that is a 4-9, and that is a single, or oh, wait a minute, 4-9, uh, no, that's a strikeout. So it was Oswald batting, not Oswald pitching. So no runs come in for Houston. We go to the top of the seventh inning with St. Louis up, and Hector Luna <coughs> is up at the plate again for now his second at bat since replacing Grubes Zelanik. They aren't taking... Um, Oswald out yet. That's a 1-7. That's a fly ball to left. One away. Still pitching too well. I mean, the, re the run he gave up was because Vigio had two errors, basically. David Epstein gets a 6-6, six, six, which is a fly ball right field. That is two down, and that brings up Scotty Rowland. And Scotty Rowland gets a 4-9, which is a single. So St. Louis gets another hit, their fifth hit of the game, if I'm tracking it correctly. Remember, I was late starting to track that, and Yadier Molina comes up. He gets a 6-5, which is a ground ball to the shortstop, but that's Everett, and he's a 1. And that is a 16. 16-1 and one is an out double play. So 
Uh, no runs come in for St. Louis. And we go to the bottom of the seventh inning with Willie Tavares up back at the top of the order for them. Um, Reyes, you got to believe, is pitching his last inning since he leads off next inning. Tavares gets a 5-5. That is a strikeout. And he is pitching well, but they have to get run. Craig Biggio. He gets a 2-7, which is a fly ball to left field. That's two down. And up steps Lance Burtman. And he gets a 6-6, six, six, which is a single one, and it is not. It's a line out to second base. And so Houston gets no runs in the seventh. We go to the top of the eighth, and uh, they will pinch hit for Reyes. Don't have a lot of, they're running out of uh, good hitters. So I don't know what they're going to do. John Gall, the Gall of the man. He's going to pinch hit for Alex Reyes, and up in the bullpen for St. Louis will be Ray King. But right now, John Gall is pinch hitting. He has some home runs on his card. He had two home runs and 37 at bat. And he gets a 1-6, which is a ground ball third base. So one away. And he is out. Reggie Sanders is up with one down. And that is a 4-7, which is a single one. And it is going to be actually a line out to first base. So it's two-way. And... Larry Walker, Larry Walker is up at the plate and he gets a 5 8, which is a home run. No, that's a 2 8. <laughs> a 5 8 uh, would be a triple one to that is a triple one to six, though, but it is really a single. So Larry Walker stops with a single with two outs and the machine Pujols is up at the plate. They could use a home run from him right here to tie the game. I mean, I'm just saying, that's a 3-6, which is a single one of 17, but it isn't. It's a line out to third base. He misses, misses that by one, and they really needed him to get that, but <coughs> no runs come in. We go to the bottom of the eighth with Houston up, and they are batting against the new St. Louis pitcher, who is Ray King. Ray King is the third pitcher this uh, game for St. Louis. And that is a 3-9, which is a fly ball center field. One away. Very good game so far. 3-1, to one, Jason Lane is up. That is a 3-11, ground ball third base. He's out, and that brings Orlando Palmero to the plate. And he gets a 4-2, which is a pop-out to first base. So Ray King has a clean eighth inning, but the Cardinals have to get two runs right here, leading off with Jim Edmonds. And the new pitcher, they are going to take Oswalt out. And they are going to bring in guess who. Let's go get him. Actually, you know what? They're going to bring in Brad Lidge. This is a good Brad Lidge um, situation. Jim Edmonds. I mean, I was going to go get Wagner, but I don't know that they really need even Wagner. But Edmonds leading off now <coughs> against Lidge. And that's a 5-9, which is a strikeout. Lidge in 2005 was 4-4 four four with a 229 earned run average, and he struck out 103 guys in 71 innings. Hector Luna, replacing Grudzelanek, who was injured earlier in the game. That's a 5-8. That's a strikeout. So Lidge was, it turns out, just as good an option as Wagner. And David Eckstein is up. He gets a 1-6. That's a single, though. The Cardinals are still alive with two down. And Scotty Rowland is up. And that is another base hit for the... Uh, for the Cardinals. 
It's got the roll. And he gets a 1-5. And that is a single. So they got two runners on, two out. So now Lidge is in a little bit of trouble. And Yachty. Yachty is in. And that is a 4-4. And that is a ground ball second base. The second baseman is uh, Biggio, who is a 4. And that is a 3. That's going to be huge. That's a 3-4. That is a single 2. So uh, that is another base hit. Um, it's probably actually another, I would say, I think it was two base hits. Um, and I think a run comes in. So, uh, uh, with the, with the pitcher up, they are not going to, uh, let, um, the pitcher bat. That is Ray King. They will bring in another pinch hitter, but they are quickly running out of people who can hit. They will bring in Abraham O. Nunez to pinch hit. And that is a 3-6, and that is a strikeout, and that ends the game. The uh, Cardinals fall just short of tying the game, and they lose game three by the score of 3-2. to two. And that is it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.